Hi, this time I wanted to talk about how out of character talk destroys context in a tabletop RPG session. Out of character talk pretty much annihilates the context when it comes to positioning the actions taken by the player characters or non-player characters, the flow of the game, of course. Pay close attention to the average tabletop RPG session, although they are not they are not role-playing, it's not a tabletop RPG session, it's either a mother may I conversation or a board game, a clumsy board game, not even a, a board game. And you will see that every time that a player is can I see? Do I know? Does my character know? Can I use this? Can I use that? And the game master. Oh, so what do you want to do? Oh, uh, what 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 are you what are you planning? So what do you do? What are your actions? Every single time they do that, they chip away at the context. Suddenly, people do not know where their characters are at. Even if they are using miniatures and a grid, they are uncertain as to why they moved there, what they were going to do. It's almost as if they forget about their strategies and tactics. And even if not so, they start to miss the point of the entire adventure. It turns into a, a guessing game. They are stating what they want their characters to do instead of actually doing things. And it destroys the context completely, absolutely. It is an awful experience for the player, an awful experience for anyone who is watching that session. It's all because of the out of character talk. Maybe someone is watching this video and has no idea about role playing. Please check out the links in the description, my actual play, the video the role-playing and acting confusion, how to obtain details through role-play, because every single thing that the mediocre players use as an excuse for out of talk is invalid, is null. It doesn't count because you can obtain everything through role-play. And once again, the game master, the referee, the dungeon master does not exist in the game world. Therefore, you shouldn't be asking questions to some invisible entity to obtain sen sensory based de details or data. That's why your character is supposed to be real within the fictional world. That's why you have eyes, ears, a tongue. You, you could take something and I uh, lick it a bit to see how it tastes. I pay close attention to the sounds on the other side of the door. I look around the room, searching for a heavy object to defend myself with. In the actual play, in the recent second part, C4 Crispy was looking for something to tie up the rope. He wasn't like, can I see something to tie up this rope? I look for a heavy object to tie up this rope, this rope or heavy uh, furniture or whatever. I don't remember his exact wording, but I am looking for something to tie up this rope. My character searches for something to tie up this rope. And there you go. If there wasn't anything at all, I would have mentioned as you are looking for something to tie up the rope, you find nothing. So once again, there is no reason for out of character talk. When it comes to the mechanics that is going to flow through, it's going to slip through the gaps thanks to the role play. Any sort of rules, mechanics, the results of the die roll, the life points lost, the wounds, the rations spent. Check out my actual play. Every time I mention uh, the enemy inflicts this terrible wound or elbows you in the face, you suffer this blow to your ribs, and I mentioned you take three points of, of damage or you take two points of damage it's almost unnoticeable. So if you are ever thinking about why context is lost, why suddenly the players don't know where their characters are located, what they were doing is because they were interrupting, constantly interrupting and stalling the game. 
They are so busy asking out of character questions, making silly jokes. The game master is constantly asking about the character's course of action or, or what they are intending to do, their intentions. They suddenly forget about what they were doing, the position, the context, perhaps even the original mission. And that's even more pathetic because it creates like a domino effect when um, an out of character question spawns another out of character question. So maybe you were busy. Uh, do I do I know something about this place or the beings that we encounter? Can I see anything? Can I? Um, what, what was our mission again? What were, were we doing? What were you, you see? It started like like a dangerous, like an insane um, chain of questions that absolutely destroys immersion, assassinates immersion, and ruins the session. So uh, I hope you found this video informative, perhaps entertaining. Let me know your own thoughts on this. As always, thank you for watching my videos. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.